It is easy to delete files and folders from the Mac by dragging the items into the trash. However, sometimes things don't quite work out as planned when something goes wrong with the file, which results in the storage space of MacBook being occupied. Today, I will use a video to teach you how to force delete files on Mac. Solution 1. Delete stubborn files through terminal. You can use the command line to delete a file that you cannot delete. First, open the finder, select applications, and then utilities, find terminal, and open it. In the terminal window, type rm and a space. Next, drag the file you want to delete into the terminal window. Then you can press enter to execute the file force deletion. Solution 2. Force quit app and delete files. Sometimes the deletion can't be completed because the item is in use. In this situation, you can press these three keys together, Option, Command, and Escape. Then select the app in the Force Quit window and click Force Quit. Now you can delete the file you want. Solution 3. Change permissions from read-only to read-write. When a file is in the read-only status, it'll refuse to delete unless you change the read-only to read-write. Right-click on the file, the Choose Get Info from the menu. At the bottom of the window, you will see the Sharing and Permissions options. Then, click on the Privilege menu next to your username, staff, or everyone, and choose Read and Write. Save the change and close the Get Info window. Then you can delete the file successfully. But just in case, you wrongly deleted some other important pictures, videos, or documents, how to recover them? Don't worry, you can try ESA's Data Recovery Wizard for Mac to perform a full recovery. First download ESA's Data Recovery Wizard for Mac from the official website. Launch it and choose the disk, then click Search for Lost Files. ESA's Data Recovery Wizard for Mac will help you scan the deleted files. All you need is to preview the found files and finally, click Recover. You can freely choose the destination. Local Disk and iCloud are both OK. Last, please be very careful before taking these three methods, as you might delete some useful files and folders in accident. That's all for this video. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.